Ralphie says, a uh, question with Outlook going strictly web or cloud-based. What will happen to the local PST files users have on their machine? And since they won't be able to archive, won't they run out of storage quicker now? Is there any learning site for this new system? Thanks. Well, first of all, that's an improper assumption. Um, from all of the reading, all of the various sites that I've, I've looked at, uh, PST player files are indeed planned. They aren't implemented yet, but they are going to be. So uh, users will be able to archive, and as such, then they will run out of storage. <clears throat> and is there any learning site for the new, this new system? Uh, there are four different pages that, at least that I'm aware of right now, that uh, Microsoft has got published on the subject. Uh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong. I want this one over here. Um, they have one uh, that's at their support site called Getting Started with the New Outlook for Windows. Um, they have one at the, the 365 Insider site that's called New Outlook for Windows available to all Office Online users. And then a couple at Tech Community. Um, the first one says the New Outlook for Windows for organizational admins. And the other one is just things to know about the new Outlook for Windows. And in case, as I suggest, in all four of those documents, PSD files are indeed planned. So they will be coming along. Um, as to when this replacement's going to be, they are touting, of course, that they're going to replace the uh, native mail and calendar apps that come with Windows 10 and 11 with, the, uh, with Outlook new next year 2024 sometime as far as it being used to replace the business client the desktop client uh, they say they're going to do that i don't it has got a ton of its stuff that needs to be done to it before that's an even feasible as an idea much less something that they can implement there's a long way long long way to go before the, uh, the 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 web only client is in any position to deal with the desktop client with the kind of customization abilities and so forth that the the desktop clients have so i don't see that uh happening anytime soon uh certainly not next year when the uh, uh the progressive web apps or the the pwa instances of the Office 365 apps came available, what, like three, four years ago? Uh, I was one of the first to convert over to the the on the PWA version of Outlook Online, and I find all the features I need. So I'm curious, Al, when, Hal, when you say the, uh, the, the customization that's available in the Outlook desktop client, what are some of the, the primary use cases that you encounter? Well, in this particular case, it's all the different VBA programs and so forth. Um, there are, I mean, at least I know a half dozen MVPs that that's all they do. Um, they write uh, customizations and add-ins, um, and uh, that uses the the COM protocols and so forth. Mm -hmm. And those simply are not going to be available. So, all of the add-ins and business features and so forth that are currently written and operating essentially will not work. They will have to be recomposed and written in whatever feature set the uh, online outlook is going to allow. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just not going to be a quick thing. No, I, I it's not going to be a quick thing. And there are there are lots and lots and lots and lots of add-ins and customizations that have been done by this company, that company, and something else to make to make it work for their particular application, their particular infrastructure. Uh, and there's just no facility to do that in the new outlook yet. So do those come in the form of like a office store application versus a no, this is you go hire a consultant and he builds an app for you and, and does that. I mean, uh, um, and I can't think of his name right now. He's a, he's a Canadian MVP, but that's that's essentially all he does is build office add-ins. Well, wow. primarily Outlook add-ins. 
I was just going to Mr. Builder, I need a, I need a, an add-in that does thus and such. Can you help me? Yeah, here, I can do that. Sign on the dotted line. Uh, just to also point to, there's an article that came out on Tech Community two weeks ago uh, from, uh, was it Caitlin Hart um, talking about um, some of the features? Because I, I, I was going to suggest um, going and tracking specifically to the question asked by Ralphie about um psts um to track the features i know there's a number of requests or a number of items that are out on the uh the roadmap site and and so caitlin outlines a number of the things including pst file support that are in the microsoft 365 roadmap that they're tracking against the new outlook on windows 11 app um and so she goes into detail and there's what 82 comments, other requests and things that are on there. Um, so I've got that, I'll add the link as well so you can find all those links below. But that's just yeah. another place to go to track specifically around that feature because I know we've discussed in this series and in other conversations uh, around what's happening with PSTs uh, in the past. Uh, and so that is something that you can track in real time out on the roadmap site.